Good afternoon, scholars, and welcome to Ms. Rowe's Coronavirus Alternative School. I'm so glad you're all here with me today. Uh, actually, I'm starting to get quite a few announcements, and so I'm going to share those with you today as well as um, information about our classes. So let's get the class stuff out of the way first, and then we will talk about all these other announcements that are coming to me from sources across the universe. Anyway, so first of all, um, Academy Decathlon on Monday, you are going to be taking a USAD Section 3 online test. So you should all be reviewing Section 3 of the music curriculum for that online test. Keep in mind, too, that you do have a quiz on Fannie Mendelssohn that is up on Schoology. So please make sure that you're paying attention to your remind announcements and, and getting those kinds of things done because there are deadlines. And that goes for everybody here that we've got now. So let's go on to AP Lang. AP Lang, we had a few technical difficulties this morning with the uh, AP Classroom, but I think that everything is going now. I've noticed that several of you are already in and working on that synthesis essay. It is, I believe, under uh, Unit 6. It's a Unit 6 Progress Check FRQ. So that's what you should be writing on. That is going to be due on Tuesday evening. I've given you a little bit more time because of some of the difficulties. So that's going to be due on Tuesday evening. Uh, next week I am going to be talking about embed embedding quotes. That's been an issue with you guys. So we're going to take care of that issue next week. Uh, with AP English Literature, I know a lot of you are wondering about your Ivanhoe essay. Um, I do believe that I sent the Ivanhoe essay remind out to everybody, so you might want to check that. Concerning your medieval videos, I know some of you have been working on those, and, and I'm hoping that we can download them or upload them. I, don't, I always get that mixed up. Download, upload, um, to a site, and then I can put them on my YouTube channel, and we can all watch them, and it'll be entertainment for us and not Netflix. It'll be better than Netflix. I'm so excited. Okay, so that's that's our basically our classroom information. But you guys, if you need any answers to any questions, please email me. I mean, I've been on, you know, email last night. Things were coming in. People were worried. And, you know, I was checking emails. And I was staying up later than what I normally do to answer emails. But, I, you know, I'm willing to do that to make sure that everybody's getting everything done that needs to be done. So um, that, I think, has to do basically with what's going on with my classes. However, big news is that the district is planning on rolling out online classes from all classes this next Monday. So that means that all of you need to be paying attention to email, Remind, Schoology, Google Classroom, going to any of those uh, classroom online resources that your teachers are using and making sure that you are getting it done. You need to get your schoolwork done because, like I said yesterday, Corona vacay is over. We've got to get back to work and, and make sure that you guys have what you need in order to graduate. I know that uh, oh, big shout out to all my fellow teachers who have been posting online. I've been reading I'm just, that uh, Coach Collier and Ms. Watek and quite a few other teachers are out there and they're, they're um, going ahead and, and starting online classes because we recognize the need for getting you guys ready for whatever testing. And really, April 3rd is supposed to be the end of this six weeks. So that doesn't give us a lot of time to get those you know, needed grades in. So you need to be paying attention and being responsible for your work. We cannot babysit. We cannot be, you know, all sweet and soft and mushy here. This is an, a situation we've never been in. And so what we've got to do is we've got to take this situation by the horns and, and take control. We've got to take control of what we can control. And one of the things we can control is learning and getting our work done. 
So thank you very much on that. Okay, some other announcements that I have for you. Let me check my list. I have so many. I've already mentioned, you know, be paying attention because we're going to go online here this next week. Um, oh, uh, please be using your school email because I know a lot of you don't pay attention to the school email, but now it's becoming really, really, really important. So pay attention to school email because a lot of you maybe are missing your reminds because they're coming to your email and not to your phone. So you, you need to make sure that you're checking your school email. Um, oh, and the counselor's office, want they, they want me to remind all of you that the June 6th, I believe it is, SAT date is the one that we do at our high school. So if you haven't signed up for the June SAT, please make sure you get that done because of course, that's the one in your home school. You don't have to get up extra early to go to Stony Point or Hendrickson, or one of those other schools. You can take it at Taylor High School in a place that's an environment that's comfortable for you. So please, please go ahead and, and take that seriously. Thanks to the counselors for reminding me about that one. Oh, also, um, I, I heard from, um, actually, I'll read it to you. I heard from Miss Fisher uh, a while ago, and she has asked, she says, um, we're a little bit you know, concerned about the yearbook and getting the yearbook out to everybody, and so we're going to need some, some help here. She says to the students, uh, please send photos, and if you would be willing to write something, ooh, oh, no, we don't want to read about that. Um, we, we need um, topics. We have different things that you can be writing about. Would you be willing to write and send us some photos? So some of the things that she mentioned uh, were uh, how to deal with social distancing, which we talked about at length yesterday. Um, and also, she mentions uh, the Europe trip, uh, living in a multi-generational family, and the risks that that kind of brings to all of us. Because if you've got your, your, your grandmother and grandfather and younger kids living with you, and someone in your family comes down with the case of the coronavirus, that can be really scary. So, you know, any of those things, if you've got ideas, just email her because she is really wanting people to write and we want to get that yearbook finished for you. Okay, so that's that's for Miss Fisher. Hi, Miss Fisher. I know you've been watching videos. Thank you. That goes for all of you. Invite your friends. Invite your teachers. Um, okay, some other things here that are kind of important that I'm going to talk about. Um, give you a little update on Williamson County and the coronaviruses. As of 12:15 uh, p.m. today, there are now seven confirmed cases of COVID-19. Seven. So it's almost doubled in less than 24 hours. So once again, you know what I'm going to say? Wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer and keep social distance. That's very important. One other thing I didn't mention yesterday was you shouldn't touch your face. So don't touch your face. Hands off the face. As hard as that may be, because I know how much you like to maybe push your hair back or whatever. Even I, I, I'm, I'm guilty. So I'm trying very hard not to touch my face. It's so tempting. All right, so that, there's that. Also, another thing that I was reading uh, yesterday, which I think you'll find very interesting as well, concerning coronavirus and how long it stays on certain uh, surfaces. According to um, Harvard uh, research, Harvard research that just came out, I think the 17th, so just a couple days ago, uh, they've, they've decided or shown that the virus is still alive from several hours to several days. And um, they, they did do some testing on specific surfaces, on copper surfaces. It, the virus can last for four hours. On cardboard, for up to 24 hours. So you may not want to touch your Amazon Prime uh, deliveries for at least 24 hours. 
and then on plastic and on stainless steel. Two to three days. So what that means is you guys, you have to make sure that you are cleaning, that you're using the kinds of disinfectants that will help clean all your surfaces. Think about the kitchen. Think about the doorknobs. Think about the things that you touch all the time. Your phone. So what I'm saying is be ultra careful out there. I'm signing off now. You guys, if you have questions, email me. Anyone who has announcements to make, I'll be happy to include those announcements in my, my daily YouTube video to all of you. But for now, bye-bye, everyone. I miss you. I miss you. Take care.